sorry, but I'm not. Stop it, fools. We need the elements to take out Chrysalis. How dare you! I created you! Ah, if that don't prove my point, I don't know what will. As proven by the previously shown clip... No, don't show it again. That's not what I said. But, as shown by this clip, I believe that Twilight of the Mean Six, that is the evil wood clone of Twilight, made by Chrysalis, is the best villain this show has ever given us, and I really, really wish she came back in some capacity in the future. Maybe she will. I don't know. It's, a, it's not impossible. The writers could do whatever the hell they want. Hell, they brought back characters you never expected to see again. Like this guy. Did any of you expect to see Steven Magnet ever again? Let alone that his name would be Steven Magnet. Or that he was apparently best friends with Cranky Doodle of all characters? I'm not me, really. Like, and again, I waited longer than usual to watch the 100th episode when I got into the fandom. I really wish I hadn't. The episode's fantastic. But I didn't expect that. So really, if they want to bring back this evil Twilight, they most certainly can. Now, here in this video, I'm going to try to prove to you, the viewers, my belief that Mean Six Twilight is best villain of MLP, hands down, compared to everybody we got. Also, can we get a name for her and the Mean Six? Because seriously, like, there's the Mean, like, we have the Mean Six as a thing. We know what to call them, but what about the rest of them? Like, they deserve names. Hell, we gave the name Psy Twy to the human Twilight. Speaking of which, why doesn't the Humane Six have any, like, names outside of, like, Psy Twy? Is it just because, like, you know, like, Twilight o is the, like, only ever, is the only one who ever came to the human world? If so, that's dumb, all right? I get it. You want to distinguish between the two because, you know what, there's a chance those two would meet. But what if the writers decide to make an Equestrian Girl special, or dare I say another movie, where the rest of the main six, as in the ponies, Meet their human counterparts. It could happen. So please, somebody make some nicknames for all of the doubles of these characters. It needs to be a thing. We now have three separate groups of the same exact characters in canon. Yes, Equestrian Girls is canon. Deal with it. And now on to the actual subject of this video. Mean Six, Twilight Sparkle. This version of Twilight is the best villain. She's shown it all throughout her brief appearance in Mean Six. She does many interesting things. As proven at the beginning of the video, she almost took out Chrysalis. <laughs> If it wasn't for the Tree of Harmony, like, wrapping her up and essentially, I don't know, dehydrating her? Imbeciles! You ruined everything! Killing her? You ruined everything! Destroying her? What term is appropriate in this case? But she was taken out. But she was this close to beating Chrysalis. Is it because she was made inherently an alicorn? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe being made the way she was made her more powerful than regular, like, Twilight. But regardless, she almost defeated Chrysalis, a feat that Celestia cannot claim and yes, I still think Celestia is very powerful, okay? All right? I'm allowed to think that, okay? The love was potent at that particular moment, all right? Enough that Chrysalis was so... Even Chrysalis was surprised she won that duel. 
So clearly, the love she got from these two was very, very potent. Moving on. Then there are other moments throughout the episode. Outside of her outright cruelty... <laughs> Can we hurry this up? We're on a schedule here. Twilight, your schedule can wait. Fluttershy's upset. Well, tell her to get over it. I'll go get the others. Stay here. <laughs> There's the fact that she seems to be the most intelligent and focused out of the mean six, which might be because, unlike with the rest of them, they're all based on the personality shifts of the original main six when they faced Discord the first time. I Forget it, Twilight. I know what you're up to. The second I go in, you'll have your little minion Spike come and take Tom. Tom. <laughs> What'd you do that for, Fluttershy? Cause you just look so peaceful. What's happened to every pony? I guess you just bring out the worst in us, Spike. Ma mean six version of Twilight, on the other hand, seems more original. Seems more like the actual Twilight if you added some confidence, which is apparently the one thing evil tends to give people. Confidence! There are so many uncharted settlements. It could be smugglers, it could that be... That is the system. And I'm sure Skywalker is with them. Set your course for the Hoth system. General Veers, prepare your men. Admiral. makes a lot of weird sense but it gives Twilight a sense of confidence that she doesn't have when she's just regular old main six Twilight mean six Twilight has enough confidence that she'll walk up to Chrysalis even though she created her and even though she's trying to order her around and clearly has no you know qualms about doing harm to her and her mean six companions why didn't you just attack them Excuse me? You were close enough to pull hairs from their manes. Why not just take your revenge then? They've defeated my army. I know better than to strike alone. I need friends. Servants. And the power of the elements. Right. She outright tells her that she made a mistake in not attacking the main six and Starlight Glimmer when she had the chance in Twilight's office. And this is her exact wording. Why didn't you just attack them? Excuse me? You were close enough to pull hairs from their manes. Why not just take your revenge then? That's right. I think it's pretty clear the implication here is that she thinks Chrysalis not only should have attacked them, she should have killed them. I think that's what Mean Six Twilight is trying to say here. She is not only willing to end life, she is willing to do it at the drop of a freaking hat. Or maybe hair in this case. Let me just pretty you all up. <laughs> but the fact is that she was willing to do it. At least that's my interpretation of her wording here. And the fact that Chrysalis has to defend herself is a sign of how superior this version of evil Twilight is. And then she goes off ha having to ask her permission, but immediately scoffing at the idea of having to take orders from Chrysalis of all beings. Turn around. We're going back. No, keep searching. I'll find the others. We can accomplish more if we split our resources. Very well. You have my permission. Permission? You need us way more than we need you, your majesty. The others are fools, but with me to lead them, there's no reason we can't find the elements and keep the power for ourselves. And goes off to gather the information necessary so that she can find the elements of harmony and take the power for herself. Interestingly enough, this version of Mean Six 
Twilight was more than willing to share that power with her mean six companions. Whether or not she would outright call them friends, but the fact that she brought that up to Chrysalis. They've defeated my army. I know better than to strike alone. I need friends. Servants. Of all beings is actually a good point. Because here, she says that she needs friends, but like Chrysalis corrects her and says underlings. And while I really, really don't want Chrysalis to be reformed because we've had enough of those, thank you very much. I will say that the fact that she lacks any sort of aid here might be the confident. Because the idea that she, this version of Mean Six Twilight, not only is the most superior villain, at least according to me, and clearly has the skill, but the fact that she might actually still consider these strange, slightly annoying, but at the same time entertaining clones of the rest of the main six to be her friends, that might be the edge that she needs. Because if we got a villain in this show that valued friendship the way the main six did, I think they might just be the ultimate villain. Oh wait, that's what this whole video is about! Yeah! Oh! yeah! True, at the end, she scalded her so-called friends. Imbeciles! You ruined everything! For ruining everything, but to be fair, that just shows the depth of her character. She might, on the surface, think of them as friends, but below the surface, where the cruelty that has been created by her creation bubbles and stirs, it's not all that surprising that in her last moments she would call them out, because really, it is their fault. They literally couldn't help themselves and started bucking at the Tree of Harmony, and that seemed to be partially what did them in. So really, she's kind of right, and at every turn, she was making the right moves. This scene in particular. Your plan? Uh, the plan. I'm just trying to do your bidding, your majesty. Grub sitting you six is nothing like controlling my hive. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just destroy you all and start over. Because I know where the elements of harmony are. You need me. Not only is this animation superb, so much so that I decided to use it in my thumbnail for this video, but it shows the sinister backdrop, the lighting, this face, it's brilliant. And all the while, she fearlessly tells Chrysalis that she needs her because she knows where the Tree of Harmony is. That is enough for me. And it, beyond that, just her performance. She comes off as so confident and so knowing in such a way that none of the other villains did. She was ready to take out the main six at the moment she had the opportunity. Them completely unawares if she had just been given the chance. And I think this one could have won. I think she could have used this to take over Equestria with an iron hoof. And I think if she had been given the chance... Well, then Equestria would be flying a new flag right about now. One with a very different symbol at its center. And that is why I believe that this version of Mean Six Twilight is the best villain. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. This has been Mike, Ringmaster of the Imagination Circus, today known as Archangel the Pegasus. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I did enjoy making it. Thank you for watching, and good day.